guys, welcome back to my channel. So I really love doing cloud looks and my love has been rekindled when I saw this picture of Dimir's cloud look. I believe that's how her name is pronounced. If it's not, I'm sorry. I love her work very much, so I decided to recreate it but put my own spin on it today. So if you wanna know how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, I already did my eyebrows, so I'll start off by priming the skin using the Benefit Professional Primer. Now for foundation, like usual, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in the shade 07 Neutral. I'm just going to blend that out using my Juno Co sponge. Now I'm going to conceal the highest points of the face using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02. Now I'm going to set everywhere that we just concealed using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. Now I'm going to zoom you in so we can start on the eyelid. So I already have concealer on my lids, but I'm also going to prime using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. First I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm going to use this purple in the top right corner. I'm going to put this color in my crease using an M433 brush. Now on that same brush, I'm going to dip in the single from the James Charles X Morphe palette. Now on an M506 brush, I'm going to go into the Alluring Cosmetics Rainbow Deluxe palette and I'm going to use this purple right at the bottom. Underneath that, I'm going to dip into the darker purple right above that light purple shade. Now I'm going to deepen up the crease a little more with just the tiniest bit of spooky, which is the black shade in the James Charles X Morphe palette. And I'm going to be taking that color on an M431 brush. Now I'm going to create the clouds with an M421 brush and the BH Cosmetics White Concealer. I'm actually going to move over to a small liner brush to do this. Look who's crying again because I can't blink. <laughs> now on the edges of the clouds, I'm going to pack on a yellow shade and for that I'm going to use B from the James Charles X Morphe palette. Now I'm going to pack 518 right underneath the yellow.
and then I'm going to finish that off with skip right on the end. And then single to blend out skip. Now I'm going to pack Spooky just on the outer corner. Now on this cloud, I'm going to add the NYX Glitter Primer. So I have these little specks that are typically used in nail art, but I'm going to put them on my eyes today. So I have these yellow ones that I'm going to put where the yellow part of the cloud is. I have these orange ones that I'm going to put where the orange part of the cloud is. And then I'm going to finish it off with some pink. I'm going to take Spooky and run it along the edges of the cloud. Now I'm going to blend out the black using that dark purple shade from the Lauren Cosmetics Rainbow Deluxe Palette. Now I'm going to go over the lines of the cloud one more time with that white eyeliner so it really makes it pop because right now you can't really tell that it's a cloud. I'm going to create stars with that same white concealer. Now I'm going to set each star with ring light. For the lower lash line, I'm first going to take Playground on an M506 brush. Now closer into the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Single. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with Hello. And I'm going to put Hello on the brow bone as well. Now I'm going to finish off the other eye and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, the eyes are all done, so now let's finish off the face. First, I'm going to contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit in the shade Light Medium. Now 
Now for blush, like usual, I'm going to go in with that Pinky Peach shade from the Lauren Cosmetics Rainbow Deluxe Palette. Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighter Palette. I'm going to go in with this shade right in the top left corner. And I am going to wet the brush before I apply this. Now for lips, I'm first going to line them with the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Your Macaroni Crazy, and then I'm going to fill it in with that matching lipstick, and then on the center of the lips, I'm going to use a Sayu. First lining them with Your Macaroni Crazy, and then filling in with Your Macaroni Crazy Liquid Lip. And then on the center, I'm going to put a Sayu. So here's the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!